By whom? I don't know. Where? I don't know. By what type of algorithm? I don't know. But the fact that there are so many possibilities now, it opens it up in a way that we haven't been thinking about. Right? And this, this is brand new. This is four months ago that this paper came out. Right? So we're, we're not there yet. Um, so internet security, maybe at least the, the integer factorization part. Um, what I, I see actually happening, and maybe I'll ruffle some feathers here. Um, a good friend of mine I went to undergrad with is now at Flatiron Institute. And if you follow Flatiron Institute, these are uh, four guys who they take all these claims about, oh, quantum breakthrough happens, uh, Chinese researchers have done X, Y thing that a supercomputer could never do. And about six months later, they say, actually, we did it on a laptop. <laughs> They've done this like four or five times. Um, Flatiron Institute, they do awesome stuff. And for me, talking about quantum impact being on this like particular podcast is important that the real measurable economic impact of quantum computing is it is causing these guys like Flatiron Institute and guys like me who work in evolutionary programming to rethink what our classical algorithms are doing. We are getting better and faster and smarter classical algorithms, which are costing less energy and less memory to do better things to sort of push quantum advantage back.